Bitcoin enters through the peg-in mechanism, it leaves through the peg-out mechanism. So that's controlled by um, functionaries called watchmen. And so they ensure that the peg is one-to-one -one and that um, Bitcoin is created when Bitcoin is pegged in and it's destroyed and passed on on the Bitcoin side when it comes out. And then you have the block signer. So instead of proof of work, Liquid uses this federated block signing model. So we have 15 functionaries that do the block signing that are spread out uh, geographically and jurisdictionally around the globe. And what they do is they take part in a um, sort of rang robin style um, block signings. Uh, so one of them will propose a block and once it, the others will validate the transactions in there. Once it meets a certain threshold of sort of pre pre-authorization, it then gets passed around between them for signatures. And you need um, two thirds plus one. So out of 15 uh, functionaries, you'd need 11 signatures on the block to make it valid. So one of the benefits of Liquid is that you get one minute block times, um, you know, as well as confidential transactions and all these other features. It's the one minute block times, um, which help place yeah, a lot more certainty on develop when developers are developing things for um, liquid, you can be a lot more certain about when things are going to execute, which is a lot better for things like smart contracts and options and things like that. Blockstream are more like the technical service providers, as it were. It's the board who are supposed to define what, what, how, where liquid goes, what new members get added um, to the federation. Um, but it's the federation who are ultimately in charge. They're the ones who run the signers, uh, the block signers, and uh, they're in charge of the entry and exit, peg in, peg out to Liquid. So DynaFed is short for Dynamic Federation. So the idea there, rather than us saying, okay, we're adding a new member in and you can all approve it, but then we have to provide you with the updated entries into the list of who's able to sign blocks or peg in or peg out. That this this can be a dynamic thing that um they can or, you know vote as it were within the their the blockchain to uh to add new functionaries into the list. Dynafed is interesting because it's uh it's a big push to say that this is your network. Um, you're in charge. You you know you decide who's a member of it. Yet yeah, Bitcoin is the native asset and it's what the fees are paid in. So you can send it around rapidly. It's it's like you take Bitcoin, put it into Liquid and it gets all these extra features of confidential transactions, one minute block times. And, and it's also what you use to pay the fees if you're uh, transacting on, um, on Liquid, regardless of what asset you send. But any other assets are sent in the same way. It's just that Bitcoin is the only one that's pegged in and out. The others just, just live in Liquid as it were. And yeah, USDT is very interesting because that closed the original loop that we mentioned earlier with the arbitrage side of things. But also it, it's interesting because it enables um, swaps. So our Blockstream mining note, BMN, um, which is a, you know, a, a claim on a or re reward paid for a certain amount of hash rate in our um, mining operation. If you were pricing that in Bitcoin, it would perhaps be a bit, I mean, you could do a swap LBTC for BNM. Um, but yeah, to be able to swap it for USDT back and forward gives a bit better price history. It's easy to work out the price history as it, as it were when it's just priced in the dollar. But, you know, you can install a, a liquid wallet. There are quite a few of them now. Blockstream Green, of course, um, being probably the most um, common. It's easy to use to pay my son his, what you might call allowance. We'd call it pocket money each week. But I now pay him um, on Lightning as well because he the, there are more things he, he can spend uh, his Lightning Bitcoin on. Um, whereas I think... Liquid is perhaps a bit more focused on the investor type or the you know financial market 